So once again, a man called Chronix. Good evening, sir, and welcome to the Rice and Peas show. Yeah, blessed love every time, you know. <laughs> So yeah, it's a good show. Find it near rice and peas, a good show. You know, hey, you know why we call it rice and peas? Well, it's a Sunday, so so you know you can't miss it. All right. I mean, that's uh, yeah. So, Chronics, you're the man of the hour. Well, I don't like to be called man of the hour, nor man of the minute, nor man of the moment. <laughs> you know, what I mean, it's just really rule time, and not any one man in particular. You know, so I mean, if you're doing your work, you will surpass all the limitations of time and everything. Where you know, come with time. Me is not really a time person. Uh huh. If you know what I mean. You're in yeah. it for the longevity. Yeah, man. Yeah. So h- how you dealing with with all the 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 sudden exposure and success and everybody trying to check you right now? Cause you know, right now when when it comes to to, to current music in Jamaica, you're you're really leading the field of of what could be called a reggae music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know, we give thanks and praise for. All of the blessings, you know, and for, for all of the opportunities and all of the doors that have been opened, you know, in our career. But here we are going now. Where all of the the sudden fame and all them things there, you know, it, it's like me as a youth, I surround myself with people who are like me doing music, you know. So it's a thing where I don't really experience it as often as other people, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's just me and my family, then me and my brother, them from the band, me and Kelly, and me and Barnes, me and Zion, me and Teflon, me and Shade. It's, it's really we live together, you know. So me, me is not a man who got party and all of them things. They really mm. see exactly what's happening, you know what I mean? Because that's that's the thing that you don't want to experience too quick in your career, you know. All of the hype and the right. This greatness, you know, so called yeah. greatness, you know what I mean? You want to be you want to be a young artist for as long as possible. You know? Yeah, true, <laughs> so, true, true, true. You, you like to yeah. stay a young artist. I like to in be an upcoming artist. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. But so you're always going up, you know? Yeah, but at some point you reach that status you can be a young veteran still. You know? Well, I mean yeah, and that that status comes with hard work. Yeah. And hard work and hype don't work at the same time, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You can't be hype and work all that. Because the very moment you feel like, yeah, this is it and you have made it, you stop work. Yeah. You know, and you, you stop, you don't, you, you are not as hungry as, uh, so I, I try to keep my hunger at a level, you know? Right. So, so yeah, let me man. ask you, the tune I was playing earlier, right, thing called Smile Jamaica, a big tune, right? First time I heard it, I said, oh, man singing about a girl that he met, right? But then when you really listen to that tune, you're talking about the way Jamaica's been changing over the years. Yeah. Uh, am I on the right track? Yeah, man. It's yeah. Dead, dead, man. <laughs> so uh, t- talk about that, how you come up with, 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 with these kind of topics and things, because it, it's not the normal, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, the things to, to sing about, it's right there. You know I mean, the only time we fall short of being creative it, of being creative is when, you know, we just listen for what others have to say and, and repeat it, you know, but when you look out there for yourself because you know as much as we are alike and as much as we exist in the same universe we still have our own personal experience and our own personal point of view Mm -hmm. so when you can put your own point of view and your own experience into lyrics and into words then your music will always be unique you know what i mean so smile jamaica is one of those songs where you know is what is my analysis of what is happening in jamaica you know what i mean and we put it out there to the world in a positive way because all that is happening in Jamaica is not necessarily positive. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, even if you're going to speak about the bad things, you, have to, you know, you have to cheer up the people, you know what I mean? Because Smile Jamaica is really a contrast of the good and the bad, you know? But it's in a positive way where people can smile and still feel uplifted and proud and patriotic about being Jamaican, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. So, when you talk about that, it, it seems like... It, it, the music coming out right now is like you're taking a pride in bringing back a real reggae music, like a real one drop, right? And I know you've been hearing that a lot lately. So that style of music's never gone away. It's just you don't hear it all the time until it starts to bubble on the top when artists start to get big. So well, in 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 relation to that, um, I didn't I didn't write on anywhere that or make any aim or any goal or whether I want to be short term or long term to 
bring back any form of music, you know what I mean? Me is just a person who loves music and I mean reggae is natural. You mm -hmm. know, dance hall and reggae music is natural for a Jamaican. You know, whereas if you're going to sing a R and B tune you'd have to go study R and B. You right, know, or right. If you're going to do a hip hop song you'd have to go study hip hop. But with reggae and dance hall, that is what we grew up on in Jamaica. You know, I mean Kelly's are both our parents are musicians, my father is a musician. My bandsman, them parents are musicians. So it's only natural for you, you know, you grow. Mm. This is what you have been fed, you know. So what what you find happening is a lot of people experimenting with different music. But I don't feel like reggae has been exploited enough by our generation, you know what I mean? And reggae is relatively young. It's a, it's a mm. very young form of music, you know what I mean? It has just been around for the past you know what I mean? It has ju just reached a mature level for the past 30 years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Most of we in here are older than 30. You know? Um, and as young youths, you know, we can't come come see something that just established or get the real establishment just 30 years ago, die out already. That means it didn't serve any real purpose then. Right. You know what I mean? But we still can't forsake the growth and the transformation and 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 you know the evolution of music it will change its form that's how dancehall came and reggae came out of a different form of music still mm -hmm. right. you know so you have to still facilitate the growth and the and the transformation of the music but at the same time you have to keep the roots and culture alive so it's not like we're trying to fight any genre or anything come me as a man some of my most loved songs all over the world are dancehall songs and they talk mm -hmm. about address right. you know and um, judgment. A lot of songs they are dancehall, like original dancehall, hardcore dancehall rhythms, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, it, we can't sing positive and culture music for anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, true. Yeah. Of course, yeah. So, so let's uh, get get into that. Then, what's Chronic's got coming out now? What, what's going on with you musically as far as putting out music? Well, I just finished recording my EP, um, Dread and Terrible. You know, um, it should have been out already. But, you know, me and the team, you know what I mean? Because we as a team, we're not signed to nobody and we're not on a deadline. We only have lifelines, so we can't take as long as we want to do whatever, you know? Yeah. So, we, we, it should have been out already and, you know what I mean, we promised the fans. So, the only people I owe apologies, the people, and the family and the supporters, you know? Yeah. So, it, it should have been out already, but we're, we're holding it for certain reasons, you know, um, with, with planning and all of them things there, so... It is finished and ready, you know, but we are going to make it mature a little bit and go and cook some more, you know. Mm. <laughs> Let it season a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know, when your yeah. food cook, we still have that little small fire there under the pot, you right. know. Right, yeah. Yeah, because you want when it's out, it at the same, yeah. you know. <laughs> so the so. tour so far, is this your first time in the States? Um, as far it, as touring? It is my first time in this side of the state performing. I, I just did a performance in California, Reggae on the River. I mean, that was my first time, and this is really my first tour, my first real performances yeah. in in America. So, Reggae on the River, that's one of the big, big festivals they have out here. How was, how was the reaction for that? Well, that was a blessed one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that is more like when you perform in Europe. Right, you know, right. When you perform East Coast, I'm mostly Jamaicans, you know, mm -hmm. diaspora people, you know, mostly Caribbean people, but that was more like a European setting, you know? And but I mean everybody was there. Cause, you know California is a very diverse place. You know everybody was there still. You know and it was a great vibes. I must say it was a very good vibe. Yeah. So tonight the big show going on a West Indian Social Club. Let the people know w what you're coming with because you know Hartford is is what number three biggest West Indian community here in America. So you know the people coming out to see what you have tonight. What do you have in store? Well. We have the good music and nothing but the good music. I can't promise the people I'm nothing but some good music, you know what I mean? Because me's a musician, that's all I can make, that's all I can deliver, you know what I mean? I can't promise them no big entrance and no big nothing and no right. big nothing. Just if it's real music you want, though, this is the place to be, you know yeah. what I mean? So if you want all of the gimmicks and the hype that comes with having chronics here for the first time, well... You might be disappointed, but if I some no, good trust music, me. Hey. if I some good music, yeah, come for that, we can ensure. Sometimes you, know? you have to build up the hype 
to get the skeptic people to come out. And then when they come in, they can experience the real thing. You see what I'm saying? See? So you have to create some hype. But trust me, you're coming with the Zinc Fence Band. So before I let you go out of here, we got to talk about the band. This is your official touring band? Well, we are not a touring band. We are Chronics, you know. Okay, so this is Chronics it. This and is Zinc Fence Redemption. I'm the lead singer. You know, Kelisa is a featured artist on this tour. Kelisa also have her band in Jamaica. This is how we do our thing, you know what I mean? Everybody have a family, everybody have a group. And it's, I mean, it's so funny out in the world where a man can have, a man will book one artist and him entourage, and him can't book an artist and him band. You know, like a man will book an artist and him bring him all entourage and him all right. But if a man here say, yeah, come with your, with your family if you make some good music and, you know, perform on a real, pan, pan a real reggae music standard. Because this Jamaica was, is a high standard music, you know what I mean? Reggae music is, when you look on a reggae backline and a rap backline and a R&B backline, the same instruments you use. So it's a high standard, it's a high profile music. So I don't know when it reached down to artists and this jockey. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But we not beat down nobody, you know, every man have to do him thing him own way. So I mean this is how I choose and this is how I feel comfortable. I mm -hmm. mean you have other artists who can do it the other way and still do him thing, you know what I mean? Like me I have to do it that way. Yeah. So <laughs> think right. fancy them, Sean. I'm a family them. I mean you I don't think you'll ever see us together anywhere in the next five decades. Or see see us separate anywhere in the next five decades or see me performing without them in the next five, you know? Yeah. Probably after 50 years, we decide to say, yeah, all right, me and Barnes go do a <laughs> DJ tour. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, it's, it's true, though. You, you make a good point, because to get the real experience, you got to have people you know behind you. Sometimes when you come up there and jump on some CD tracks, it don't hold the same vibe. You know what I mean? You can beat off it's a whole heap of... It's you, not you even can, close. No, you, know you I mean? can beat off a bunch of hit tunes for it's one verse, but, close. you know... All right. So, once again tonight, a Chronics, the Zinc Fence Dan the v Zinc Fence Redemption Band, all going down West Indian Social Club. Kalisa, tonight. <laughs> yeah, ready. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Man. All right, Chronics. Want to give thanks for having you here. Don't want to keep you too long. I know you guys have a, a busy schedule. So, once again, let the people in Hartford know what's going on tonight. Well, and I say tonight, Hartford. We are here and we are ready to share the music in you know, a Rastafari and rule myself and the original. He's out, Kelisa. <laughs> yeah, and I say, Chronics and Kelisa, Zing Fence Redemption, bringing the music to your life, you know what I mean? And a whole heap of other artists, Alandan and Old Massive, Agadede, saying that us forward out and come with a, with a clean heart and a pure mind and with a clear conscience because that's the recipe. Rastafari, reign and rule. Ease out. Big up Jam is ready on spring.